first, it's important to make clear that uh, these pipelines, that is Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2, uh, were not uh, pumping gas into Europe uh, at this time. Nord Stream 2 never became operational, mm -hmm. as is well known. Nord Stream 1 has been shut down for weeks uh, because of Russia's weaponization of energy. What we've been doing, and we've also been working on this together uh, for many, many weeks, uh, as we saw the Russian aggression in Ukraine and as we saw the uh, ongoing weaponization of energy by Russia, is to work very closely with uh, European partners as well as countries around the world to make sure that there is enough energy uh, on world markets. And so we've significantly increased our um, production as well as um, making available to Europe liquefied natural gas. Um, and we're now the leading supplier of LNG uh, to Europe to help compensate for any uh, gas or oil that it's losing as a result of Russia's aggression against Ukraine. Um, we've engaged with the European Union uh, and established months ago a task force to work directly with Europe on ways to uh, decrease demand uh, to help get through the winter, as well as to pursue um, additional supply and to find ways to uh, speed up the transition to renewables, even as we're getting through uh, this, uh, this challenging period. Look, there's a lot of hard work to do to, to make sure that um, countries and partners get through the winter. Europe itself has taken very significant steps to both um, decrease demand, uh, but also look at ways to um, uh, pursue the transition to renewables at the same time. And ultimately, um, this is also a tremendous opportunity. It's a tremendous opportunity to once and for all remove the dependence on Russian energy and thus to take away from uh, Vladimir Putin the weaponization of energy as a means of advancing uh, his uh, imperial designs. Uh, that's very significant, and, and that offers tremendous um, strategic opportunity for, um, for the years to come. Do you think Russia is behind the sabotage of the pipelines? Well, I think all the signs point to some type of sabotage. These pipelines are only in about 200 feet or so of water, and Russia does have an undersea capability to, that would easily lay explosive devices by those pipelines. And I do think it's a signal to Europe that Russia can reach beyond Ukraine's borders. Uh, so uh, who knows what he might be planning next, but I think this is uh, clearly a, a, an act of sabotage of some sort, and, and Russia is certainly the most likely uh, suspect. die.